So one of my friends, he came out of the closet, and when he told me he was gay, he was really worried about what I would think. You know, he was expecting a big reaction, but I didn't give a shit. You know, I had more important things in my mind. He was like, hey man, I'm gay. I was like, hey man, where's that money you owe me? <laughs> you wanna come out, come out. Just don't leave your wallet in the closet, motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, don't you have any questions about me being gay? When you're out with other guys, are you spending my money? <laughs> I'm not a homophobe, but I'll gay bash your ass. I don't get my money, right? <laughs> and he's gay, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. But then we found out we have another friend. He's a homophobe. So, so now it's weird, because the three of us, we can't hang out together. We can't be in the same room, because, you know, the homophobe's like, hey, 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 I'm not hanging out with him. He's going to try to have sex with me. It's like, why would he want that? Because he's gay, and I'm a guy. I'm like, dude, women don't want to fuck you. What are you talking about? to heterosexuals. Now you think you're homalicious? What's wrong with you? Homosexuals want you, no sexuals want you. Yeah, you want no licious, bitch. Yeah, you should take what you can get, motherfucker. Being choosy is for good-looking people, shit. Uh, so I really do have two very close gay friends, uh, Mark and Gay Paul. And Gay Paul is the only one I call Gay Paul, because Mark is what I call masculine gay. Because we can agree, there's two kind of gay guys, right? There's a masculine gay guy where you're not really sure, and then there's an effeminate gay guy where it's not even a question, all right? <laughs> so some guys, when they come out, it's a surprise. You're like, oh, he is. Wow. I didn't know. <laughs> I just thought he liked Bravo a lot, okay? <laughs> Other guys, when they come out, you're just like, yeah, we know. <laughs> they make such a big deal, like, I'm out, you've been out. <laughs> when were you in? <laughs> it's like, you know, I have a secret. No, you don't. <laughs> Shh. Not with that voice, my friend, all right? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but certain things you'll never hear coming out of certain voices, okay? Like, you, you're never going to hear a gangster rapper be like, oh, shit, is that the new Bed Bath & Beyond? I want to get my soap on, uh. uh. By the way, every time I do that joke, I have to say this, all right? Uh, my friend Paul, he's not that flamboyantly gay at all, all right? I just say that for the joke, all right? The only time Paul gets flamingly gay is when he gets upset. Like, the more emotional he becomes, the gayer he becomes. He's like the gay Hulk and shit, you know? So, so it always starts off like, Elliot, I really wish you're not portraying me that way in your joke because it's such an exaggeration. It's San Francisco! <laughs> Hello, Broadway! <laughs> you make gay Hulk want to smash and suck cock. <laughs> <laughs>